You're listening to Addressing Gettysburg. Hello, everybody, and welcome to this special Get Out of the Car Tour 2021 Ask a Guide. It's not really an Ask a Guide. We have no questions, because if you want to ask a guide, you've actually got to come out to the tour. And today, Lewis Trott and I are standing at the Michigan Brigade Monument out on East Cavalry Field. And we're going to talk a little bit about what is going to take place on our tour on June 19th of this year. So, hello, Lewis. Good afternoon, Matt. Um, it's a beautiful day f- to be standing out here, isn't it? It is. It is. It's a nice breeze. A little nice. warm, but uh, summertime is warm. Yeah. Nice yeah. breeze, though. Cicada I'll, free. C- no cicadas out here. Yes. And you pointed out it's because this land is farmed, and that's good. Um, but, but on the battlefield, it's uh, a cacophony of cicada. Yes. The cicada cacophony. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a um, new holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Every 17 years. Um, all right. So let's get into this. What are we going to see? Are we where are we going to uh, start? What are some of the stops that you have along the way? Um, we'll definitely stop where we're standing now, uh, the Michigan Br- Brigade Monument. Um, a little bit down the road from that is the Greg Shaft Monument for the uh, Cavalry of both armies. It's one of the few monuments on the field that actually uh, acknowledges both Confederate and Union troops. Interesting. Just here. Um, Interesting. And then also over there is the Third Pennsylvania. If we can manage it, get up to the first New Jersey monument. Uh, it's a little bit of a hike. Uh, they can handle it. I hope so. Because yeah. uh, from there, you can look up and see the Rumble Farm, which is a, uh, a central point in some of the fighting, the dismounted fighting. Um, and then on the other side of that, you can see up there on Crest Ridge where the Confederate artillery set up. Yeah. I think... Uh I think we could handle that walk. I hope so. I mean, I don't know if we'd want to walk all the way to the Confederate line, but... No, 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 no. (laughs) We can handle the New Jersey. That's more than get out of the car. That's just leave your car at home and walk. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Uh, Okay, so so what are some of the things that uh, occurred? Let's say right in front of where we're standing now. What happened out in the uh, field before us? Well, we're standing in the area where uh, troops under George Armstrong Custer, he's leading the Michigan Brigade... The 1st, 5th, 6th, and 7th Michigan Cavalry Regiments, along with a very important artillery unit, Lieutenant Alexander Pennington, they're not supposed to be here on this portion of the field. They've been called to the other end of the line, the left of the Union line, to help uh, guard that and try to exploit uh, any uh, opportunities over there. But Custer's going to stay here. Custer's not in Greg's division. No, he's Greg's not in Greg's division. division. He's assigned out here. That's right. And Custer's in Kilpatrick's Kilpatrick's, division. yes. And so Custer is being called back to yeah, go? Yeah, he or was go. ordered to go back and rejoin the rest of his division, Kilpatrick's right. division. Um, he informs Greg that... But he th- wasn't here first, right? He was down by uh, somewhere else. I want to say two taverns. taverns, yeah. Two okay. taverns, yeah. And uh, when he is here, he, he informs... Uh, General David Gregg, that he thinks there's going to be a big fight here. And Gregg, you know, intimates that he sure could use him. He says, well, you, and I'm paraphrasing, of course, you order me to stay and I'll stay. So he says, I do so then. He stays and he's going to lead two charges. The first one's going to be with the 7th Michigan. Uh And the second charge is going to be with the 1st Michigan. But where we're standing is in the area where those Michigan uh, men are charging across the field to meet members of the... So they're charging right over us yeah, and they're going towards that tree line. They're going towards the north. Mm-hmm. Uh, as they charge, the Rummel Farm would have been on their left. There's a road that actually leads from Crest Ridge. It, it ran down to the Low Dutch Road, would have been on their right. And, um, and the Low Dutch Road is on their right. So they're, they're sort of charging in between that farm and those roads okay. towards the north. Confederates are coming from the south off of Crest Ridge. And they're going to meet up at a fence line somewhere in the middle. Uh huh. And what happens when they meet up? You'll have to show up for oh, the tour. Oh, okay. You can't Very tell good. the whole story now. What's All the right. use of coming out in the heat? That's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then uh, how about the uh, PA regiment over there that we're going to visit? Well, 3rd Pennsylvania, uh, I don't know if everybody knows if this is common, but there's one soldier from the Battle of Gettysburg who won the Medal of Honor that is buried in the Soldiers National Cemetery. Okay. And that's William Miller. Mm. William Miller is going to earn that Medal of Honor for his actions here on July 3rd. The 3rd Pennsylvania actually gets split up into different squadrons. Um, part of 
the 3rd Pennsylvania is going to fight just south of the Rummel Farm, dismounted along with the 1st New Jersey. Uh, and the other portion is with William Miller, out guarding the Low Dutch Road area, east, to the right. east, east of the Rummel Farm area, uh, and it's the far right of the Union line. And William Miller is going to lead a charge of his own from that area, and that's going to be uh, instrumental in blunting the Confederate attack. And we'll talk about that when we come out here and get out of the car. <laughs> Okay. Well, it's a gorgeous I'm good with the day. Promos. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you're good at getting practice a there. lot in the shower. <laughs> That's the best place to do your practicing. Um, all right. So it's today is a gorgeous day to be out here. I almost kind of wish the tour was today. There's a nice breeze. It's it hot enough, so you're not freezing. So, but it's not like last year. Remember, last year was just yeah. oppressively hot. So with that, if it is going to be sunny and hot, or sunny and not. Make sure you bring sunscreen. There are not oh, yeah. a lot of shaded areas out here. Oh, yeah. Uh, even though it's it's, a, it's a, a morning tour, 10 to noon, sunscreen is uh, paramount. Yes. And uh, so is a movie company. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, sunscreen, water. Definitely want yeah, water. Yeah, definitely something to Plenty drink. Plenty of water. I don't yeah. think bug spray really comes into play yeah. here. This is regular old grass. Yeah, we're not going If you're going paranoid out. about bugs yeah feel free but yeah i mean of course i think the two things are water and uh, sunscreen and i've given up on uh, telling people not to wear flip-flops i think people are doing it just out of spite now but uh god you bless know people toes. are showing up with flip-flops yeah. to prove something i don't know what but uh well, i okay. think by now if they've been on uh more than one tour they know we get in the weeds yes they so do and they wear their flip-flops and they proudly warned. show me no yeah. blood on their feet and i'm like good for you good yeah. for you i don't want to wear flip-flops <sighs> all right lewis well, that uh, that about does it then. I think. That was I think a quick we've got preview. It. it was a quick preview. Yeah, yeah we don't uh, we don't need to get too much into it here because it it was a pretty simple action out here, wasn't it? Uh, I mean, relatively speaking, you know, compared to other parts of the battlefield that will be on this. Yeah, year. that's true. Um, and I'll talk about the the complete action of that day, July third. Mm-hmm. Um, so you'll fit this action into exactly. the overall. Why is Custer leading a charge? Right. Uh, why is, why is William here? Miller leading a charge? What are the Confederates trying to accomplish out here? Why is David Gregg out here? Right. Um, so we might not be able to see the entire portion of the field, but I'll certainly talk about the entire action on this field. Yeah. We might uh, be able to see it from the first New Jersey, though, right? Or at least enough. Yeah. Of it. Oh, yeah. That's why I hope to get up there because you can definitely see the Rummel Farm. Yeah. From there, and uh, you, like I said, you can see up the Crest Ridge line where the Confederates have their artillery. Yeah. So. Yeah, and I think people can handle the walk. It's not that terribly far. No, from it's here. not. It's not. I enjoy um, the walks actually. Where? Uh, yeah. Now, uh, hey, so do I. Yeah, and that's the whole point of this, anyways. To get out of the car, get some exercise, see your national park. This and this make field. Some friends. If anybody's been to Antietam, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Yeah, you uh, should uh, should be very. I'm sorry, I'm not used to this uh, radio uh, <laughs> stuff. I'm sorry, just no. a go old ahead. Man interrupt. To interrupt. Uh, if you've ever been to Antietam, it's very rural. Yeah. A very, uh, they still grow stuff there, and it doesn't have a lot of monuments. Right. East Calvary Field has a similar feel. That's why it's known as the Antietam of Gettysburg. Did you just make that up? I did. That's brilliant. (laughs) That's why you're the radio guy, and I'm not. That's right, and that's why I'm not the licensed guide. Uh, (laughs) All right, so June 19th, starting at 10 a.m., I'm going to look into possibly chartering a bus because um, parking is scarce. But uh, I'll look into that and I will uh, put the word out uh, once uh, once I know what's going to happen. In the meantime, thank you all for listening. I hope to see as many of you out there as possible. And uh, let's all pray for good weather so that we don't get rained on because guess what? We're going rain or shine. If it ain't raining, we ain't training. That's right. And that's it. Thank you, Lewis. Yeah, I'm here for you. Thank you. (laughs) Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you all for listening. See you on the 19th. Thank you. Okay, there we go. That was simple. Our hearts so stout have got us made for speech is known from whence we came. Wherever we go, they dread the name of Gary Owen and glory. Instead, it's all dreamed down in a man named Lon.